after completing this tutorial you will be able to create 3d model using extrude sweep shell how to use pattern feature in 3d model and how to use whole feature in 3d model so let's get started you are watching CADREV first we are going to create a path for a circular sweep so let's create a create a path using a profile tool select tangent arc now let's define this cage this length will be 60 mm this length will be 55 mm the radius here will be 90 our sketch is fully defined now exit the sketch now we are going to create a profile around which we are going to sweep the so let's create a circle let's fully define this circle the circle value will be 97 mm diameter exit the sketch and you can see now our profile is ready our path is ready you can now we have to select sweep along guide if command is not available here you can directly search it from here sweep along a guide so select sweep along a guide the section will be this circular sketch the guide will be this l shape and you can see now our our profile has been ready now we have to create these two flanges and this boss at here so let's create this flange first before creating a flange now let's create a shell of this body so select the faces which we are going to remove and the thickness of this more thickness of this tube will be remain 16 mm so click on ok now let's create a flange for these two faces so go to sketch select this face click on ok now let's project this inner dia click on ok select this sketch fix this curve now let's create another outer circle for flange now let's define this circle this outer circle dimension will be 225 mm finish the sketch same for this face also select the sketch select this top face project this curve fix it create outer circle of flange dimension this this our body will be 225 finish the sketch you can see our sketch for flange has been ready now let's select extrude command select this sketch select the boolean operation as unite reverse the direction thickness of this flange will be 25 mm. thickness of this flange will be 25 mm boolean operation will be united click on ok and here we have selected single curve so let's select this curve also you can see now our flange has been ready let's create another flange material direction will be this side thickness of this flange will be 20 mm click on ok hide the sketches now we are going to create this circular boss at this space so the distance from this space to this end of this space is 1 200 mm so let's create offset plane 
from this space so go to datum plane select this plane as a reference plane and the plane created at offset of 200 mm now let's create a circular boss let's create a sketch first the origin will be remain same the dimension of this dia will be 50 50 mm finish the sketch now let's extrude this circle with end value of until next and you can see now after selecting until next the body will be go to the this l shape body with boolean operation of unite so our this boss is also ready now let's create this counter board here for this model also let's hide this plane go to hold command select point for point select this circular edge arc center select hole as a counter board the counter board dia will be c board dia will be 20 mm hole dia will be 20 hole dia is 20 counter board dia is 24 and counter board depth value is 28 m and the operation here will be subtract click on ok and you can see now counter board has been created so see let's see the section view and you can see now our depth is less so go to the counter board hole again increase the hole hole depth click on ok you can see now our model is almost ready now let's create circular pattern and circular hole at these two flanges first let's create sketch on this space let's create a circle this dia will be 86 mm which we are going to create extrude cut and uh, let's create pitch circle dia about which we are going to create circular pattern this PCD dia for hole will be 185 mm dia let's create it for convert to reference now let's select create a point at here let's fully define this point this point and this vertical axis will be coincident let's coincident this pitch circle dia and this point and you can see now our point and circular sketch has been ready so now go to extrude command again the depth value will be 20 and boolean operation will be subtract you can see now our bore profile is ready now let's make a hole for this flange space select a hole specify point the hole will be simple depth will be hole dia is 22.5 hole dia is 20 mm click on ok and you can see now one hole has been created now let's create a pattern of this feature the feature will be 20 mm hole the vector will be 
select vector for circular face number of count is 8 pitch angle is 45 click on ok and you can see now our circular profile for hole has been ready now let's do same for this top of this face so let's create a point for this face also create a PCD of 185 mm dia convert it for reference and create a point define this point make coincident with this circle now let's select a whole command 22.5 sorry 20 mm dia now let's create a pattern feature for this hole the feature will be pattern will be 20 mm hole go to vector and select this face circular face number of count is 8 number of pitch angle pitch angle will be 45 click on ok and you can see now our two flanges has been created with hole dia of 20 mm let's see the section view of this face select y axis you can see now how our model is neat and clean so that's all from that's all about today's tutorial from my side please make sure you like share and subscribe this channel for more videos like this thank you for watching care drive